squid rank among the strangest animals populating this planet. They're cephalopods, which means that they have tentacles with suction cups growing out of their heads. Like snails and mussels, they haven't a single bone in their bodies. They owe their shape to an inner shell, the so-called cuttlebone. Porous chambers in the cuttlebone allow the squid to float through the water. Squid are masters of camouflage. They can change their color to blend in with their surroundings. But they can also express emotions by switching from one hue to the next. When they get excited, surges of color pass rapidly over their bodies. It's an incredible sight. Cephalopods have eight, ten or more tentacles. Sepias have ten, two of which are extremely long and concealed in pouches. They shoot out when an unsuspecting victim swims by. Squid grab their prey with lightning speed. We've slowed down the movement because it's too fast to be followed by the naked eye. The victim is dragged towards the mouth of the sepia, where it's then cut apart by a beak-like organ. Squid are very passive hunters. They simply sit and wait on the ocean floor. When a small fish or crustacean passes by, they snap into action. Most of the 120 species of sepia mate during a short mating season. They start massing at specific locations. One especially well-known place is a stretch of sea off the coast of Australia where the giant cuttlefish mate. Thanks to their size of almost one meter, this species is one of the most impressive of the cephalopod family. The females are much smaller than the males. The males compete for the females, threatening their opponents with aggressive skin colors and simulated attacks. When male and female suddenly show the same color, mating can begin. They intertwine their tentacles and the male shoves a special arm loaded with sperm into a pouch in the female's body. For those not familiar with this strange ritual, this may look as if the male is devouring the female. Then he guards his sweetheart suspiciously, constantly on the lookout for competitors. Females lay from 100 to 300 eggs. Only few of them survive this effort. The orphaned offspring are left to fend for themselves. In the next few weeks, the baby squid develop, protected by soft white padding. After four months, the youngsters hatch. The little ones are fully developed squid, but they're barely two and a half centimeters long. They chew their way through the sides of their eggs into the world outside. They feed off plankton, larvae and tiny crustaceans. A pretty cute sight. The baby squid are in constant danger. They don't know how to tell friend from foe. And they can't camouflage themselves as well as the adults. It's all on-the-job training. So hundreds of them are killed by predators. These gobies are just waiting for a tasty meal. But a couple of babies always manage to hide and survive. And soon, they will be fully grown squid, the chameleons of the oceans. <laughs>